And here we go with Randy Brown and Wellington Terman headed to a decision. Very close fight. They split rounds two and three, clearly. Round one was very close, like 27-26. Uh, and the only determining factor uh, in significant strikes for Randy Brown. So round one is very close. Could be a split decision unless all three judges saw round one uh, to be one-sided. But overall, Terman came back and significant strikes ended up leading 65 to 56 so a nine significant strike lead there he had 305 in control to 247 for randy brown but brown had two takedowns and we'll see uh if that matters and now the judges scorecards taking a second bruce buffer's looking it over and i have a feeling this is going to be a split decision both fighters shaking hands with their opponents coaches a lot of mutual respect here and i thought randy brown would come in and dominate but anything but and here we go. Bruce Buffer's got the mic. Oh, it's unanimous. Probably 29-28 for Randy Brown. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Randy Rude Boy Brown gets the win. And what that means is all three judges believe he won the first two rounds because round three was all Wellington Terman. And, you know, again, if you have a point system, Wellington Terman wins because he led in control time, led in significant strikes, total strikes. 111 to 85, but Randy Brown won two rounds, uh, especially the first one, which was very, very close. But he gets the win. He moves to 18 and 5, welterweight division, UFC, Jacksonville.